Hello, welcome to another video. This is Mark from Hillside. This is a 2008 BMW 330 diesel. This is the M Sport Touring Edition with an automatic gearbox. This car happens to be my car, my family car, and will shortly be coming up for sale. It is the pre LCI version. in the black sapphire metallic with in my opinion the best contrasting leather we'll have a look at it shortly this is the lemon yellow lovely shape lovely condition this car has been part of my uh, YouTube video collection so it's always been used as um, instructional videos so engine detailing machine polishing it's been the company nominated vehicle it is standard looking other than the front grille which has been swapped for a, a matte black one not really bothered about it but it actually quite suits the car so the car came to me through a friend um, a local lad who was doing some work for me at the time and he came in this car and I was quite taken with it I've always fancied one and it suited the family uh, the family plans for caravanning and, and various other bits and pieces at the time so I made him an offer and he let it go uh, the opportunity for me has come to upgrade this car to the the slightly uh, slightly bigger version so it's time to sell the car came uh, to me with 108,000 miles, so we've done a few thousand miles and it's done 112,000 miles, we'll have a look shortly. But it, it needed just an extra bit of TLC, so the wheels were curbed, there was a few scratches on it, there was a few things not working, there was a few things in there that I didn't like. Um, for example, it had um, a retrofitted satellite navigation system in it. Um, which was just a little bit awkward to use and my wife moaned about it a little bit so we sourced all of the parts to put it back to standard so just to let you know what I've done to it the car had an engine warning light on when we plugged it in it was glow plug relay module so that's been replaced along with a few glow plugs swirl flaps have been deleted for those in the know they can be a bit cumbersome it has been remapped with an EGR delete plate to give it some extra horsepower and a little bit of better fuel economy the idea behind that was to give me a little bit of extra power to pull the caravan in reality the car probably didn't need it, it was a 231 horsepower version it's now approximately 270 horsepower um, it, it's good but you've got to really give it some to, to be finding out the, uh, the the limits of the car um, so that's only just been done so it's not been done for five years and been hammered across the country it's only just been done I haven't I've only pulled the caravan once with it um, and, a, and a few trailers here and there there are some stone chips on the bonnet, as you'd expect. There's some stone chips on the front end. You would really have to look to find them. Um, it's got the halo light upgrade, so behind those uh, those rings are uh, an, an emitter, um, which have been replaced with an LED emitter. So we'll have a look at that shortly. The number plate will be coming off. However, can be sold at separate negotiations. So if you want the number plate, it can stay on the car, but I want some more money for it. Everything works on the car. The headlamp wash works. The wheels were refurbished. Just the outer edges were done, so they weren't done at the back. Discs and pads have been changed all round. If you look through my YouTube videos, there is uh, an instructional video on me detailing the arches and the uh, and the brake calipers so they've just been painted in a in a steel grey which sets it off nicely there are no dents on the car the previous owner was a dent man 
so you will find no dents on the car it's all original paintwork it's HPI clear it's had five or six owners the tires on the back will be replaced unfortunately at the moment I wanted to match them up with the Avon ZZR5s or ZZ5s and I can't find them anywhere The tow bar will come off, it is a detachable, but if you, I will be taking it with me, so it will come off if you buy the car then it won't have the tow bar or the cross beam fitted to it. Again, if you have a use for it, I'm always open to negotiation with that. Um, it is a single electric and it's the multiple pin, so it's not the seven pin, so it's the more modern version, you would need an adapter. Rear parking sensors, it's been debadged. I've got the letter in if you want it. Factory privacy glass. This is a nice touch. All nice and clean and detailed. In here. Normally do the videos outside, but as you can probably hear, the wind is blowing a gale and you'd never hear it. So, nice and clean in here, it's a non-smoker car, it's had this rubber mat in since I bought it last year, but the carpets and everything are all in good condition. Don't come with a spare wheel. A few little surface marks, can't see if you see them on there, on there, but no, you know, there's nothing that's broke the paintwork, it's all just surface scratches I suppose the roof bars will be coming off they'll go on the new car I have two children we're getting slightly older now so we're just after a slightly bigger car Leather's in good condition, there's no scratches on it. I use rubber floor mats. A couple of weeks ago I had the seats out for a proper carpet shampoo. All down there is polished. There's no muck, there's no grease, there's nothing. All the electric windows work car doesn't have the factory sat nav as I've discussed I use my Google Maps if I have to electric folding mirrors electric windows all around the leather is absolutely beautiful and considering the car's 12 coming on 13 years old there is a little bit of wear and tear here on the bolster which again the most common seated uh, the common used seat manual seats Paddle shift, M Sport wheel, slightly chunkier than the uh, than the SE version. Oh, quick look under here. So paintwork's in good condition. It was clay barred and, and buffed last week. Just a gentle buffing. It wasn't a big compound job. It was just to bring the shine up. There's some minor stone chips here. Again, if you're looking for perfection, you need to painting everything really which I'm not going to do um, the headlamps again there is some uh, there's some pictures on Instagram of me buffing them up they were just going a bit cloudy the engine again I like the own natural look I have got the engine cover but it's got a crack in it and I didn't like the look of it for the YouTube video I made of detailing the engine so all the engine bay has been done The oil was changed in the last eight weeks, along with the filters. So the air filter, which is an absolute pain in the neck, because you've got to take all of that off to get to it, but that's done. Oil, filter, 
fuel filter is underneath the car obviously I've got a ramp so that was all done and the correct long life oil was used shock absorbers have been changed at the front only one of them was leaking so I did the pair um, probably said but discs and pads all around and not cheap discs they're not BMW ones but they are as good in my opinion I hope this comes out well because it's all been polished not your normal rubbish this car's probably going to sit a little bit more expensive than the rest of them but I hope you take into account the condition beautiful seats again probably impractical for a family person family man like myself I'll have a little listen to it running two keys I'm going to say it's got full service history however the chap who owned it before me didn't get the 90,000 mile stamp put in the book but I do trust him and I do know the place where the car was serviced so aircon has just been regassed Heated seats work, so essentially the last system was, all of that was pretty much missing, so I've replaced all of that lot. It's all been coded to work with the car again. Everything works, it's all been wired correctly. It's a beautiful car, 600 newton meters of torque if that means anything to you. The mileage will go up because the car is in daily use, but it's done 112,822. Have a look at those lights. So by Zenons were standard. And the rings have been changed. As an upgrade, it's quite an easy upgrade to be fair if you look on YouTube it's quite easily done. But they've never failed so they've been done properly. If you're interested please call me on the mobile 07595 871 083 or you can message me on all of the social medias Mark Hillside Instagram Hillside Vehicle Trading on Facebook and you can send an email mark at hillsidevehicletrading.co.uk if you want to do it that way the car is absolutely stunning I've spent a lot of money just getting it back to this standard and I think it's worth doing to something like this Thank you very much for watching and we'll see you soon.